It was kind of surreal. Like, it was just, like, I actually felt like I was in the room mm. that I was looking at. Yeah. Um, it was quite fun. I mean, it would save having to go to, you know, a physiotherapy department if you could do it at home. A good exercise, like a... Uh, f uh, physio exercise so we can do properly you know what I mean I, I played home in the, this game but uh, that one is more like a good activity you know what I mean for the we know that if someone enjoys something then they're more likely to continue doing it and to do it for longer um, which ties in really nicely with the physiotherapy because we want people to enjoy doing their activity so that they can continue doing it my original thoughts were that this would be a piece of work that explores the acceptability and the feasibility of delivering this type of intervention in clinical care. I'm very much a believer that actually if you do the best surgery in the world and you don't do appropriate rehab or don't do your rehab, you're not going to get any better. So if there, there is many things like this that can engage people and get them excited about actually getting better. It's got to be a good thing. From a patient's perspective, uh, I find that a lot of them get frustrated because they do not necessarily see a rapid enough improvement and they feel they're stagnant in their rehabilitation. With gamification and technology like this where you can quantify the incremental improvements as well as recording the incidences and the frequency of the exercises, uh, both the patients and the doctors can track the improvement and tailor both the rehabilitation exercises as well as the um, treatment options um, in the future. So it may come to a point where once you reach a particular point, you say there's no further improvement, now is the time to undertake further surgery. Or we may need to switch to a different rehab exercise to help improve that. What exercises will be useful to do for the patient? Not every patient is the same, and therefore not every exercise will be um, accepted or executed in the right manner by, by every patient. We put together a, an idea of how we wanted it to, what it want, we wanted the project to do and what we wanted it to look like. So we decided to just focus on range of movement because that is the principal thing that we would normally look at in physiotherapy to start off with, looking at slightly at people's posture as well um, and how they're standing to, in recording their, their position within space but then recording how the shoulder moves and how it tracks so doing flexion just forward straight up abduction out to the side and then internal and external rotation um, just to show that we can follow the movement and that patients could copy what was being shown what the software can do in terms of picking up subtleties and differences in posture um, and positioning has improved a long way too. So it allows us to, um, or it allows patients to not do an exercise if they're doing it in a, in a posture that is detrimental. Physio is going to be beneficial for um, providing patients with external cues to do exercise. Probably be able to track the amount of exercise they do it. Biggest thing really they're working is distraction from pain. So people exercising in pain, but then having distraction of being in an immersive world.